France has furiously erupted over a decision by the UK government to reject new fishing licenses amid a row over Channel Island fishing rights post-Brexit. France has promised retaliatory measures by the EU in the latest round of tensions between Paris and London over post-Brexit fishing rights. It comes after the British government approved only 12 out of a total of 47 applications from French trawlers to fish in British waters. Similarly, the Jersey government has announced this week that 75 license applications out of 170 received from French fishermen have been rejected over a failure to demonstrate a track record of fishing in Jersey waters. French government spokesperson Gabriel Attal said, These decisions are absolutely unacceptable and outrageous. These are decisions that violate agreements of the Brexit deal. The deal ISNT being respected. Mr. Attal added that the French government would be considering retaliatory measures. The French maritime minister Annick Girardin said she would be holding talks with fishing industry representatives to formulate a response. It is a new refusal of the British to apply the conditions of the Brexit Accord despite all the work undertaken together, she said. French fishing must not be taken hostage by the British for political ends. The tug of war between London and Paris over the issue of fishing rights has been continuing for months. Britain has argued that licenses have been granted to almost 1,700 vessels to fish in the 12 to 200 nautical mile zone, and a further 105 licenses were issued for vessels to fish in the 6 to 12 nautical mile zone where evidence supported a track record. However, Channel Island trawlermen have often criticised the UK government for offering too many concessions to EU fleets. One Jersey fisherman told France 24, it is a little bit of a biased deal where we give rights to foreign fleets to continue to act about €20 million Euros worth of fish from our waters, and in return, we don't really get anything at all. Jersey's external relations minister Ian Gorst has defended the way the licenses have been awarded saying they had adopted a pragmatic, reasonable and evidence-based approach. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.